A hybrid girl and others like her are being held at a testing center. As the area is overrun by hundreds of hungry zombies, Melanie escapes with her teacher and helps guide humanity's survival. Today on Cinema Recapped, I'll show you The Girl with All the Gifts. The film begins with a girl named Melanie who's locked in a cell while some soldiers are outside yelling to kids to get ready because they're going for them. The girl quickly puts on her clothes, a red suit, and sits in a wheelchair while some soldiers open the door of her cell and Melanie says hi kindly. The soldiers secure her to the chair and take her to where the other children are, gathering them in a room separated by numbers marked on the floor. When everyone is in that room, we see that a teacher arrives, who begins to teach the children things as if they were at school, and we see that Melanie stands out from the others. Later, all the children return to their cells, and we see how the girl, despite the circumstances, kindly says goodbye to the soldiers, wishing them a nice day. They give the girl food, and we can see that they've brought worms on her plate, because that's the food they give to all the children. Later, a female soldier named Caldwell, the doctor in the area, begins to ask questions of Melanie, like a random number from 1 to 20. The girl chooses 13. The next day, the soldiers arrive following their daily routine, which is to take the children to the room where the teacher is. But Melanie notices that one of the children is missing, and she can also see that it was the one with number 13. Then, after attaching small tables to their chairs, the teacher asks them to write a story. After a while, she asks a volunteer to read what he or she wrote, and our protagonist quickly raises her hand. The girl reads it aloud, telling a story about a girl who was very happy with her mother. The story is so good that the teacher even sheds some tears. When the girl sees the teacher with tears in her eyes, she thinks she did something wrong and apologizes. The teacher walks over, still moved by the story, and strokes Melanie's hair. Then a very angry soldier comes in and scolds the teacher, since she should not get so close to the children. To demonstrate why she shouldn't do that, the soldier approaches and offers an arm to a child. Once the child feels the man's hand nearby, he begins to suffer a change. His zombie side awakens, and he wants to go after the soldier's arm to eat him. And this is because all those children are a kind of hybrid between human and zombie, and that's why they have them locked up. We can also see that the other children in the room smell the scent of the soldier. So they start throwing bites into the air, while the soldier explains to the doctor that a special cream must be used to disguise their smell, but that you still don't have to get so close. Then they return all the children to the cells. Melanie sees the soldier who scolded the teacher and tells her that he wishes her harm, so the man tells the other classmates to leave her tied to his chair as punishment. After a while, we see the teacher walk through the corridor, where she notices that Melanie is still tied to her chair. She attempts to untie her, but the girl feels her smell and begins to transform into her zombie side, so she tells her teacher that she'd better go away. When the teacher hears the upset girl, she quickly leaves the cell, apologizing to Melanie for what happened. At the same time, she reapplies the cream to her face and hands. The next day, Dr. Caldwell arrives, who notices what was left of the teacher's cream on the floor, and asks Melanie to give her a random number from 1 to 20. The girl chooses 4. The doctor gets surprised and asks if she's sure, since Melanie is in cell number four. The next day, we see how the soldiers do their routine of taking the children to class, and Melanie gets ready. Then the girl notices that they take all the children but her. After a while, she's taken to the outside, finding out that the world is infested with zombies. They take the girl to where the doctor is already waiting for her. There, they inject her with a sedative to mobilize her and put her on a stretcher, since the doctor uses the children to try and find a cure against the zombie virus. She prepares a scalpel, but shortly before she begins, the teacher arrives, threatening the doctor and her assistant not to hurt Melanie. Caldwell asks the woman to calm down. The teacher lets her guard down. The doctor sprays her with pepper spray and calls the guards to take her away. Then they want to continue with the procedure, but the alarm sounds, indicating that the zombies have entered the military zone. One of the undead gets through a window, trapping the doctor's assistant and biting her. Caldwell saves her, but shortly after, the bitten woman turns into a zombie. That zombie slowly approaches Melanie. The girl gets scared, but she realizes the undead is not doing anything to her, since she also has zombie cells in her body. Then the girl takes a scalpel and manages to get loose from her bonds. She escapes from the place and notices that outside everything is a disaster. Then she sees the guards who were carrying the teacher and sees they've beaten her up. So Melanie goes for them and bites them on the neck. Later the girl begins to lie down as the sedative begins to take effect. The teacher carries her in her arms and wants to escape, although she's surrounded by zombies. A truck of soldiers arrives to save them, and she boards with Melanie in her arms. Later they escape from the place, 
while we find out that the doctor was the one who saved them. Later, the soldiers driving the vehicle realize that Melanie is in the back, and they want to kill her, but the teacher opens the door for her to escape, although she stays close by since she doesn't know how to be alone. They decide that they'll go to a safer place, and since Melanie could have the cure in her cells, they also carry her, but wearing a special mask. Then the truck breaks down, so they have to continue on foot, but we notice how one of the soldiers still mistrusts Melanie a lot. Later on their way, they see that there are many zombies where they'll pass, but because they don't have human beings nearby to eat, they're just standing still. They decide to go through since they have cream on and they must be safe, but the soldier warns them to go very slowly since sudden movements or noise could wake the zombies up. They pass among the undead while the soldier guides them. Then they notice how a zombie woman carries a stroller. The doctor lifts a blanket that is in the baby carriage and freaks out since there was a rat rather than a baby. Then the zombies wake up, but the soldier begins to shoot them, and they take refuge in an abandoned building. Melanie and the doctor wait while the others disperse to secure the building. The girl asks what's going on, so Caldwell explains that many years ago they found that, apart from the zombies, there were also half-undead and half-human hybrids. She explains that when a pregnant woman becomes a zombie, her baby lives, but with zombie genes. She also tells her that this is why she's trying to find the cure through children like her, in order to save humanity. The next day, since they're surrounded by zombies, the girl tells them that she can go out to create a distraction, so she changes her clothes and goes out passing among the zombies, since they do not do anything to her. She finds a cat and ends up eating it, then she finds a dog and takes it, so the zombies would follow her to eat it and therefore the others can leave safely. As they go on their way, they notice how some zombies died and sprouts came out of their bodies. Later, they come across a large structure made of pure zombies that turned into branches and created a large mushroom. So the doctor explains that this is the next stage of the life of zombies. She also explains that from that gigantic zombie mushroom, some buds come out, which could end humanity since they would release a spore into the air that will turn all who breathe it into the undead. Later they find some armored army trucks, which the doctor identifies as mobile laboratories. They enter and use the radio to communicate, but receive no answer. Later still, one of the soldiers goes out to look for food, and the girl also asks them to let her out, since she feels hungry and doesn't want to cause an accident inside. So she goes out and feeds on a pigeon. Then the girl hears noises, and when she gets closer, she sees that there are more children like her, but she notices that they only want to kill to survive, and of course they're more intelligent than ordinary zombies, so she returns and warns the others. They come to the rescue of the soldier who went out to look for food, but the children went ahead and found him first, so they ate him before they arrived. They emerged from the place where the soldier's body was found, but the zombie children were waiting for them outside. They see that there are too many of them, so Melanie fights with the leader of the children, beating him in battle so that the others will fear her. They return to the truck, where the doctor puts them all to sleep with a gas, in order to be able to do tests with Melanie and try and find the cure. But the girl only pretends to be asleep to mislead the woman, and she waits until she's distracted to surprise her. Then the doctor tries to convince her to sacrifice herself to save humanity, but the girl refuses to cooperate since she'll have to die for that, and she also doesn't trust Caldwell, so she runs away. Later, Caldwell goes out to look for her, but she runs into the zombie children who eat her alive. At the same time, Melanie sets fire to the gigantic mushroom made by the zombies. Behind her comes a soldier who went out to look for her, but when he breathes the smoke from the mushroom, he turns into a zombie. Then Melanie goes back to the teacher, who's the only survivor, since she's safe inside the trucks, and the smoke doesn't reach her. Some time passes, and we see how the teacher and Melanie have created a kind of school to educate the zombie children, since they will be the future of humanity. The end. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to continue receiving the recaps of the best horror movies. Thanks for watching.